everyone, it is Michelle from Simply Special Ed, and I'm here to show you how to make a digital visual schedule um, that is interactive and very easy and clickable for the students and the adults to navigate in during distance learning. So let's start with the Simply Special Ed um, schedule boards. So these are, this is the digital um, schedule boards that I'm using and my students have a full day of school during distance learning so I use the AM PM board that's what I like that's what works for me and my students so when you click on it it'll instruct you to make a copy and go ahead and do that and here is the schedule template now what you need is schedule visuals so what I used for these are the Simply Special Ed schedule visuals, the digital version of those as well. And I like my students to see the word with the visual, so I use the images with descriptions. Again, you're going to click on that and it's going to add it to your drive. And you'll find it in the Shared With Me folder under Schedule Board Images with Descriptions. Okay, so once you've added those to your drive, you can click out of those and we can start adding images in to the schedule. So the first thing you're going to do is insert an image and it's in your drive. So you'll search your drive and remember you're going to the shared with me folder and it's the schedule board images. So I like the seafoam color, so I'm gonna use the seafoam color. Now the amazing thing about these schedules, number one, there are lots of different colors to choose from. So your students, if you color code your classroom, the students have, um, there's a lot of colors for that. Um, the next thing that's amazing about these is that they're in alphabetical order, so it makes your time, um, Less spent a little less because you don't have to um, continue to look through all these visuals. So first on my list is breakfast. I'm going to insert that and it comes in and I just resize it to the size that I like and add it to my schedule. All right and the next thing that my students and I do is we, we start with boom cards. Now, if you don't know what boom cards are, I highly recommend them for distance learning. They remind me of the independent work that I use in my classroom, um, which is file folders or task boxes, and um, they're clickable activities, or you know, you can either click or you can drag and, and insert, um, or even type answers for the students, and they can be errorless. Um, and they don't have to be errorless. So there's really something for everybody with boom cards. So what I do for boom cards is that's not an image that's in the Simply Special Ed um, visuals. So I search on Google for boom cards logo PNG and I pick one that I like, which this one looks good and it'll bring it up over here. All you have to do is copy it and go back to your schedule and paste it in and resize it. Now the one thing that I really stress about doing with your um, distance learning schedules is adding links, making all these pictures clickable so that things are just easier for your students and for the adults that are helping them. Um, it just makes things a lot less painful for everybody. So to add a link, you'll go to the Boom Card website and they give you, if you register for an account, they give you your own URL. So when you copy this and paste it into your schedule, it will take the students directly to the sign-in page. And then all they have to do is find their name and put in their password. Okay, so to add a link, you're going to click on the image and then up here at the toolbar is insert link and you will click that and paste the link in. And that makes this image now clickable. So once I click that, you'll see it takes me straight to my sign-in page. Okay, so the next item that my students do is morning meeting with myself and my assistants. So that is an icon that we can look for in the 
simply special ed visuals. So we'll go to drive. And again, they're alphabetized. So I just have to go down to morning meeting or M. Okay, here it is. So I'm going to insert that image. And we do morning meeting over Zoom. So I'm also going to insert a Zoom image so that my students can see that this is, you know, one of our meeting times. So to find that Zoom logo, I also searched Google for Zoom logo PNG. And you find one that you like. This one looks good. Again, I'm going to copy and then paste it in and resize. This is another one that needs a link. So I don't link the website itself. I link the actual meeting so that once they click that, it takes them directly to the meeting. So for that, we'll go to my meetings. Here's my morning meeting. I'm going to click it. And we're going to copy the invitation. So I'm just going to copy this link and paste it into the schedule on that image. Now, I don't want any confusion. Um, say they try to click on this, but there's no link there, um, and but they didn't try this one. To alleviate any confusion, I'm just going to link both pictures so that it just is easy for everybody. Now, after morning meeting, my students do independent work, which is their asynchronous work. Um, and it's an extension of the morning meeting. So we do their morning binder. And this is a Simply Special Ed um, resource as well. And it's Google Slides resource. So what you do is you um, go into the morning binder, you create a slide for each of your students, and then you um, go up here and get the link, which would be in the share, and you would copy this link down here and insert it right there. So that's what I do for my students. Um, the next item that my students do is social skills. So we're going to insert that image. Now, there aren't a lot of opportunities for social skills with um, distance learning. So what I prefer to use is a program called Emotional ABCs. It allows you to create an account for each student, and it is free for teachers. So I'll go ahead and put in that link right now. I just copied it from the website and we're going to paste it in and it's clickable. Okay, so after social skills, my students have lunch. So that's another image we'll search. There it is. Okay, so here is where things get mixed up a little bit. So after lunch is when we do our one-on-one -on -one sessions and we do those over Zoom. And I have two assistants. So that allows us to have three meetings within a period block. So three students. I have 12 students. So that may, means that we have to have four different blocks of Zoom meetings. So every student will be doing something a little bit different during this time. Uh, for this one, I'll go ahead and put Zoom here as the first one, and then I'll show you how to create a different schedule um, super easily without having to create 12 different schedules. So we're going to do, we call it centers. So I'll put in the centers icon. And then I also, because we do this over Zoom, I put in the Zoom icon. So my students know that this is a time they'll be working on their computer with um, people. So this is not the same link because this was our morning meeting. So I'm going to unlink this one. I find it easier to 
create recurring links for, um, I'll show you what I'm talking about, for my day because um, say for instance, I used this meeting ID for every single meeting. I don't want, you know, these kids coming in at this time. So what I do is create different groups, but I set them as recurring so that this meeting always stays the same, but only these kids have this meeting link. This one stays the same, but only these kids have this meeting link um, and so on and so forth. So that's, that's my preference. Um, you can do it however you wish, whatever works for your class. So I'm going to insert that specific link. And again, I'm going to do both photos to alleviate any confusion or issues that could occur. After that, my student will probably need a break because we expect a lot from our students during those one-on-ones, don't we? So we can give them a break. Then my student is going to work on some Google Classroom work, which again, that's just a logo found on the web. So let's go search Google Classroom logo PNG. This one looks good. Copy, paste it. And then you would add that link to your Google Classroom. And the final thing that my students do for their day is PE. So we will insert that image. And then if you have a specific PE program that you prefer, you may add that link or you can also search. There are some awesome um, PE videos on YouTube or you can even link you know, a PE document where you list what you want your students to do for PE. That's really up to you. Okay, so the final thing I would like to show you is how to make this interactive. If you guys know um, visual schedules, you know that our students typically remove their icons and place them on a table or they remove it and place it in another part of the schedule or they have an arrow that they move down. Um, there's a lot of ways that you can really make it interactive. So I want them to continue to do that during distance learning. So we're gonna search for, I'm gonna say like a green check mark. So green check mark PNG. And you, can, you don't have to use a check mark. You can use, um, if the student, if you have one student that really likes dinosaurs, you could use dinosaurs. Um, you can really get creative with these. So I like this one. I'm going to add it in and resize. And then that looks good. I need nine more. So copy it and then just paste however many you need. And then you can move them over to each spot. Okay, so let's Let's see, let's look at a completed schedule. So here's a completed one. You can see that Judy has Zoom at this time. Um, say you want, um, let's make a copy of it. Okay, so we're gonna make, this is a completed schedule. So we're going to make the next schedule that we need. So let's file. This is going to save you a ton of time. So you don't have to do this for every student. You just go up here, make a copy of the entire presentation. And this is going to be, um, let's see, Robert's schedule. Okay, so it saves, automatically saves in your drive now as Robert's schedule. You can assign this to Robert. Um, the only thing you need to change is the Zoom. So, Say Robert isn't doing Zoom at this time, so you're going to move these over. And Robert actually does Zoom at the end of the day, so we're going to move Google Classroom up and put centers down here. And then this is a different meeting link, so we have to take this link out. 
put in the new one. All right, you have a completed schedule. Let's talk about putting it in on your visual or virtual classroom. So you're going to share and you want to copy this link and it's restricted right now. So anyone with the link, that's good, but he needs to be able to edit it so that he can move his check marks over if he wants. We're gonna copy that link and actually, let's see. Okay, so here's our classroom. We'll go to schedules and I'm in publish mode. So we're gonna add Robert's schedule. Okay, and he needs a picture. So let's insert an image. We're gonna search. Robert likes, he likes red cars. We're gonna search for a red car and we're gonna find one that, this one's cute. That would probably work. Okay, but it brought it down here, so we're gonna click and drag up to the top of Robert's name. Then let's see if we can resize this a little bit. Okay. All right, so this is Robert's image. And once you have the image, then you can add the link to his, the clickable link to his schedule. Same thing as um, Google Slides is once you click on the photo, double click, and the link will pop up. Then you just insert and apply and format as you wish, and you are able to make your schedules interactive. I hope that you guys find this helpful. Um, you know, these have been so beneficial to my classroom. So just know you guys can do this. You can get through it. We're in this together. Bye.